That's what you were being called to do. That's just not what happened. All right. What is blessed, Spirit? One card, please. Bless in the reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify that. Yep. Love yourself first. You see how he's kissing her to run off? Like I said, it was like, oh, this would be so nice. I'm going to leave. I'm going to be back, though. You didn't love yourself enough. And take that as that resonates. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And to have self-respect, meaning to have your morals and values intact, meaning that you're not going to let some floozy or one of the homies keep you from what you know your soul is calling you to do. Yep. Calling you to do. Make the effort. <laughs> Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know how they say divine, when a divine couple finds each other, you hurt, once you learn who they are, when you hurt them, you hurt yourself. It's like that. All the hurt that you're putting towards one person is really just coming back to you. You're hurting. Not that they're not hurting, but Spirit's not going to allow you to, uh, I'm hearing no more scapegoating. So whatever it is, sometimes you used to mirror your energy back to this person when you didn't feel like enough, when you felt like they were too good for you, um, when you felt like they were doing too much, they were triggering too much of your heart space. Um, some of you may be literally crying as well. And my, my, you know, again, my heart goes out to you because I would never, you know, want anyone to feel bad or disregarded or, or whatever, you know, feeling that you may be feeling. Um, mm hmm. But at this point, it's, it, that's why you're also feeling so emotional because what you used to mirror towards your divine person, that, that has been shut off. It's almost like someone literally um, shut down, let's just say, you used to always, I'm used to sending them something through, I don't know, I'm just going to use pay, PayPal. I don't know why, PayPal. And it's like, okay, well, that account is closed. So where you're sending it has to be returned back to you because they have no other account to put that, that emotion in. So now let's go ahead and send that back. Oh, I'm not good enough for this person. I'm not good enough. I don't love enough. I'm not open enough. All of that that you used to mirror back and throw at your person and your person would just say, I'm not. Well, I need to fix that and heal. Now it's like a, it's like a rubber band effect. Like it's coming back to you and now you have to heal. Okay. Wow. Wedding ended up at the bottom of the deck, but moving forward, <laughs> let's get into imagine spirit. One card for imagine for the future from the divine masculine point of view. Imagine spirit for the future. One card. Thank you. Ain't that some shit? Reconciliation came out as the future position for, I'm sorry, in the future position for the divine feminines as well. You want this person back. What I will tell you is if you are not careful with that codependency, because this person is not codependent. I don't feel that the divine feminine is codependent. And maybe that's what also attracts you to this person. Codependency, attraction, wedding, and then honeymoon and children. If you release your fucking ex with the family issues. Yo, listen, listen, listen. It's about to get so real on this channel. I have to take my glasses off for a second. Y'all have to understand. Us as readers are not telling you what to do. We're reading the energy that is true in your life. The energy that God has give has the energy that God has given us the ability to read. It's the same because someone just said it's the same shit on every everybody's channel because you haven't changed, Mister, Miss. Order in the court, you have not changed. So yeah, from my channel to the next channel to the next channel, guess what? We're reading your energy, my dude. This ain't no goddamn Hollywood script. This is God giving us an insight to what's going on to you to try to get through to you. So instead of flipping from place to place to place trying to find another storyline, live your storyline because it's the truth of what you're going through. This is not a fluff channel. I'm not here for that. It's so difficult for a caterpillar to turn into a butterfly. That's why this is the healing butterfly. It's not easy. Oh, child. Okay, reconciliation. Codependency, right? Attraction. I think you're attracted. You either are, I, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you're attracted to your divine person because they're not codependent and you're used to having codependent people. Also, we have the wedding. We have the honeymoon. We have the children. 
You get what I'm saying? You see, you see the life path we're going on here? If you release your ex, that you're trying to heal either their family issues or your family issues with them. Shout out. And behind that was this could be the one. I'm, I'm, listen. And then there's the let your friends help you. I'm going to be honest. Some of your friends don't, don't want you to come into union. They're jealous that you found your person. They're jealous that you found your, uh, your spiritual um, breakthrough. You know, they're jealous of certain things within your life. Everyone is not here to be your friend for real. Somebody, a good chunk of you masculines, have shown your empress to your friends. And your friends are attracted. So if they're not jealous, they're like, man, I mean, I wonder if I could run into her one time. And, you know, you never know. Some of your friends are like, nah, I got loyalty to my homie. But, I mean, I wish I had her. I wish I had this type of love. I wish I was, you know, thinking of something. I wish somebody would have sparked my heart like this. I wish somebody would have cared for me like that. So they're jealous. I'm not going to say all of your homies. Not all of them. No. But there are some who are snakes in the grass who don't want to see you because they can't get it right. You better watch who you tell what to. You better watch who you ask for uh, guidance from, too. Everyone's not here to speak life into you. Everyone's not here to speak positivity and to keep you positive. People are set in your path to get you derailed because that's why it's a test. Before a big blessing, God gives you wisdom. He gives you a test. And then he gives you a blessing. You have to use the spirit of discernment to know where you're, where you're being guided to. That's uh, past passion man. I have two cards. Thank you. One more card for a passion. Further clarify this from the divine masculine's point of view. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, the, what did I say? The golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship and, and love bombing. That, that It's a golden-ass mirror now coming back to you, mirroring back what you used to send out to your person. You're now finding that you are a codependent person, that you have an addiction to this person, or you have an addiction to the way ma uh, you manage love, okay? And it needs time. It takes time. Time to heal from the clock. And then love call. Thinking of someone and letting them know. That's what you want. You need to heal. That codependent energy at the bottom of, exactly. What did I say you need to, and this card almost fell out my hand. Healthy choices. Make healthy choices before making that love call. Because right now you are in separation with your person. Let's keep going. What is, um, love yourself first and make the effort. Love yourself first. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Uh, yep. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. For some of you, you know that this person's not coming back. And I'm hearing it's the ones who were abusive. If you were mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, verbally abusive. Because some of these women took up a lot of abuse. Healing heart. You need to heal your heart. But I'm going to be honest. That what I'm reading right now is that the women have taken a long time to heal their wounds. Physical wounds. Emotional wounds. Spiritual wounds. They're not coming back. Some of you uh, need to heal yourself from that Grim Reaper energy. Feeling like there's no... I'm not giving them no second chance to be it. Like, you know, whatever that is. I'm not, I'm not going through this again. Like, somebody's doing that too. Um, and then receiving what you need. Moving on and closing the issues. The boat. Exactly. Bottom of the deck is I like you. So some of you are trying to heal your heart because you still like your person, still love your person. But you do need to come out of that energy that it's done, it's done, it's done. It'll never come back together. Some of you need to heal and move on and just cut yourself, cut your losses because you you, you just need to let this situation give it over to God. If it's going to come back, it, it'll come back in God's time. But you need to make the effort to love yourself first and to heal your heart. Either way, make the effort to love yourself and heal your heart. Some of you know that you've taken it too far and there's no coming back. Some of you know, okay, we argued. I've said some stupid shit. They said some stupid shit. Um, we can still work on this. I just know I, I got to change me. Uh, and then reconciliation. Spirit, thank you. Thank you. Exactly. What is... <laughs> you've turned into the chase of divine masculines and you want you going after that runner. You want to reconcile. You want to go on a date. Just give me one date. 
Let me show you how I can be the palm tree, the stability, the security in your life, right? What did, what the fuck did I just say? You're the who? The chaser. You're chasing who? Your soulmate. With the, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, the palm tree. The chaser after your soulmate chasing after your soulmate because you want to hammer you want to build this you want to get this back together again because they're really your, you now see they're not just a soulmate they're your twin flame the passion that you have for them is probably what ignited you to understand that they were your twin flame you want to get married you want to propose excuse me if I told your secret because you really do love them you got a lot of love a lot 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 of love for this person you want them and you want them bad you do it's beautiful i think it's beautiful if you can get yourself out of that energy heal your heart let go of the codependency release an ex or it, it could just be someone who's i'm hearing like late night 50 shades of gray maybe that's what it is somebody gives you that late night joke but once that physical is done, you feel just as empty. Right. Still playing around with the wrong things. The wrong people. So let's get some messages from your spiritual team. Exactly. I let go. <laughs> and get some real support. All right. One more shuffle and we'll see what your spirit guides have to say. bottom of the deck is vulnerability so you definitely need to work on being vulnerable and being i'm hearing something about being safe and secure in your vul vulnerability being vulnerable doesn't mean that you're under attack you shouldn't feel under attack all the time the card that flipped out for you is called breathe the breath is a vital bridge between your body and soul it's the connection between the inside and outside connecting you to the universe spirit and the divine source the breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the, in the universe. Bottom of the deck is vulnerability. This confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition, as I said, than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. I hope that this helped you all. Thank you again for tuning in. I truly appreciate you liking the video, sharing the video, subscribing to the channel, and leave me some comments below. Um, if you are looking for a personal reading, please reach out to me via my email or Instagram below, 4545 as I look up. Thank you again for tuning in. Peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise to you and your loved ones. Namaste.